looming shadow, predicting the unpredictable. The question that hangs heavy in the air when will World War III start is a chilling one. Unlike weather forecasts, there's no magic formula to predict global conflict. Yet, by peering into the abyss of history and understanding the triggers of past world wars, we can perhaps illuminate the path ahead. Echoes of the Great Wars, a tapestry of causes. World War I, a horrific clash that engulfed Europe from 1914 to 1918, wasn't a single, traumatic event. It was a complex tapestry woven from decades of simmering tensions. Nationalism, a fervent pride in one's nation, fueled competition and distrust between European powers. Entangling alliances, elaborate agreements to come to each other's military aid, created a domino effect, drawing nations into a wider conflict sparked by a seemingly minor event, the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria. Unchecked militarism, the relentless arms race and glorification of military power, fueled anxieties and lowered the threshold for war. Similarly, World War II, a global conflict fought from 1939 to 1945, had its roots in the unresolved issues of World War I, coupled with the rise of totalitarian regimes in Germany, Italy and Japan. The Treaty of Versailles, which harshly punished Germany after World War I, sowed the seeds of resentment. The Great Depression, a crippling economic downturn, created fertile ground for the rise of dictators who promised a return to greatness. Are we doomed to repeat history? The good news, the world today is a different place. The devastating consequences of nuclear weapons have created a chilling doctrine of mutually assured destruction mad, dissuading superpowers from direct military confrontation. International institutions like the United Nations work towards fostering dialogue and resolving conflicts peacefully. However, shadows still linger. Nationalistic fervor and territorial disputes simmer in several regions. The proliferation of weapons, including cyber warfare capabilities, adds a dangerous new dimension. Alliances, though not as rigid as those of the past, still have the potential to escalate regional conflicts. Myths and misconceptions, separating fact from fiction. Here, we have to wade through the murky waters of prophecies and psychics. The internet is rife with predictions about specific dates or events triggering WW3. These are, for the most part, unfounded speculations. History rarely unfolds on a predetermined script. Another misconception is the inevitability of a major conflict between rising powers like China and the United States. While competition exists, these nations are also deeply intertwined economically, making all-out war immensely destructive for both flashpoints and fault lines, a tinderbox world. The world isn't a uniform stage. Certain regions, riddled with historical grievances, territorial disputes and military build-ups, simmer with the potential for explosive conflict. Let's delve into some of these flashpoints where a spark could ignite a firestorm. 1. The South China Sea, a sea of troubles. The resource-rich South China Sea has become a major point of contention. China claims vast swaths of the sea, overlapping, with the territorial claims of Vietnam, the Philippines and several other nations. These claims are backed by increasingly assertive Chinese military patrols, raising tensions. Scenario 4 Escalation Imagine a tense standoff between Chinese and Vietnamese ships near disputed islands. An accidental collision or a miscalculation could lead to an exchange of fire, dragging in regional allies like the United States and sparking a wider conflict. 2. Taiwan Strait, a David and Goliath standoff. Taiwan, a self-governed island, is considered a renegade province by China. The potential flashpoint here is China's growing military might and its vocal stance on reunification, even by force. The US, on the other hand, has pledged to defend Taiwan in case of an attack. Scenario 4 Escalation China conducts large-scale military exercises around Taiwan 
perceived as a rehearsal for invasion, the U.S. responds by sending warships closer to Taiwan, leading to a dangerous game of chicken with potentially disastrous miscalculations. 3. The Korean Peninsula, a legacy of division, divided since the Korean War of the 1950s. The Korean Peninsula remains a tinderbox. North Korea's pursuit of nuclear weapons and ballistic missiles is a constant source of concern. South Korea, backed by the US, conducts regular military drills, which North Korea views as a provocation. Scenario 4 Escalation North Korea conducts a long-range missile test that malfunctions and lands in South Korea. South Korea retaliates, triggering a spiral of escalating military actions that could draw in the US and China. 4. The Middle East, a cauldron of conflict. The Middle East has been a battleground for centuries. Lingering tensions between Israel and Palestine, the ongoing civil war in Syria, and the complex power struggles between regional players like Iran and Saudi Arabia create a combustible environment. Scenario 4 Escalation An Israeli airstrike on suspected Iranian nuclear facilities sparks a wider conflict, drawing in Hezbollah and other Iran-backed militias. The entire region could be plunged into chaos, with devastating consequences for global energy supplies. The nuclear nightmare mutually assured destruction and its limits. Imagine a world teetering on the brink, where a single misstep could unleash an imaginable devastation. This was the terrifying reality of the Cold War, dominated by the chilling concept of mutually assured destruction, Matt. Let's delve into this nuclear chess game and explore its chilling relevance, or lack thereof, in the 21st century. MAD, a doctrine of annihilation, MAD is a military theory based on the principle that a full-scale nuclear war between superpowers would result in the complete destruction of both sides. Think of it as a game of global chicken, where everyone loses. The logic goes, if you attack me with nukes, I'll retaliate in kind, ensuring your annihilation, even if it means my own. This guaranteed devastation served as a perverse deterrent, preventing a direct military confrontation between the US and the Soviet Union during the Cold War. The Cold War chessboard, a delicate balance of terror. During this period, the US and USS are stockpiled a mind-boggling number of nuclear weapons. Just one bomb carried the destructive power of thousands of conventional bombs dropped on Hiroshima. This shared capability of obliteration became the cornerstone of MAD. Leaders on both sides understood the horrifying consequences of nuclear war, making them incredibly cautious when engaging in proxy conflicts or military buildups. The world watched with bated breath as the superpowers danced around each other. Tensions high, but a full-scale nuclear war thankfully avoided. Mad in the modern era, has the doomsday clock shifted? With the fall of the Soviet Union, the bipolar world of the Cold War dissolved. However, the specter of nuclear war hasn't vanished entirely. Let's explore why MAD might not be the ultimate deterrent today. Rissi off new nuclear players. India, Pakistan, North Korea the number of countries with nuclear weapons has grown. These new players have different doctrines and may not be as beholden to the logic of MAD. Technological advancements. The development of smaller, more tactical nuclear weapons blurs the lines between conventional war and nuclear war. MAD was built around the idea of large-scale, city-destroying bombs, miscalculation and accidents, the fear of accidental launches, or a leader misjudging another's intentions remains a terrifying possibility. MAD is a relic of the past, or a chilling reminder. The jury's still out on how relevant MAD is today. While the threat of complete annihilation still deter a full-scale conflict between major powers, the rise of new nuclear players, along with advancements in weapons technology, create a more unpredictable landscape. Here's the key takeaway. MAD may have prevented a nuclear holocaust during the Cold War, but it's a fragile piece built on the foundation of mutually assured devastation. As the world evolves, its effectiveness as a deterrence remains a topic of chilling debate.
deterrence and diplomacy, can we prevent the coming storm? The shadow of World War III looms large, but it's not inevitable. This chapter dives into humanity's toolbox for averting global catastrophe. Can diplomacy and reason prevail, or are we destined for another maelstrom of violence? Talking it out, the art of diplomacy. Imagine a world where leaders pick up the phone instead of dropping bombs. Diplomacy is the art of negotiation and relationship building between nations. It's about finding common ground, addressing grievances, and forging peaceful solutions. Here are some key players. International Insta, the United Nations, with its peacekeeping forces and forums for dialogue, plays a crucial role in mediating conflicts and fostering cooperation. Regional organizations like NATO and the African Union also play a part. Alliances and partnerships, Nations with shared interests form alliances, deterring aggression and promoting collective security. These alliances can act as a counterweight to potential aggressors, curbing the arms race, treaties and arms control. Throughout history, arms races have fueled tensions and escalated conflicts. Arms control treaties aim to limit the development, stockpiling and deployment of weapons particularly weapons of mass destruction. Success stories. The Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, NPT, has been instrumental in preventing the spread of nuclear weapons. Strategic arms reduction treaties, start between the US and Russia, have significantly reduced nuclear arsenals. Challenges and loopholes. Not all nations are signatories to these treaties, and enforcement can be difficult. Technological advancements can sometimes create loopholes, requiring constant updates to existing agreements. De-escalation and crisis management, when push comes to shove, even with the best intentions, crises erupt. De-escalation strategies and crisis management techniques are crucial during these tense times. Here are some thoughts, hotline sand back channels, direct communication channels between nations, Allow leaders to bypass media hype and address issues directly, lowering tensions. Confidence-building measures, military exercises conducted transparently, or allowing inspections of military facilities can build trust and reduce the risk of miscalculations. Will diplomacy triumph, the uncertain equation? Despite these tools, preventing war is a complex equation. Here's why diplomacy's future might buoyance attain. Rissy off nationalism and populism. Leaders focused on national interests over international cooperation can make dialogue difficult. The spread of misinformation, fake news and propaganda can inflame tensions and make it difficult for citizens to discern truth from fiction. We've delved into the precarious landscape of potential conflicts explored the chilling concept of nuclear annihilation, and examined the tools humanity possesses to avert disaster. The question of when World War III might erupt remains unanswerable. The future is not a preordained script, but a tapestry woven with the threads of our choices. This video has just scratched the surface. There are more threads to explore in the coming storm. In part two, we'll delve deeper into the uncertainties of the future such as the unpredictable future, wild cards, and unknown factors will explore how emerging technologies, resource scarcity, and unpredictable leaders could become the catalysts for conflict. Preparing for the unthinkable, the global implications of WW3. No one wants to contemplate a world war, but preparedness is crucial. We'll examine the potential social, economic, and environmental ramifications of a global conflict a world we can build, lessons for peace and security. Even in the face of uncertainty, hope remains. We'll explore strategies for fostering international cooperation, strengthening global institutions, and building a more peaceful future. Will humanity succumb to the forces of division and destruction, or will we find a path toward a more secure and peaceful future? The answer lies in the choices we make today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.